what will happen if something goes wrong? Technically, you have to understand that all of us, including myself or anybody, we are all human beings and nobody wants to harm anybody. And a place like us, everybody is very well experienced to operate and do a beautiful surgery. And with all good faith, with blessing from God and everybody else, we achieve that in 99.9 .9 or even higher than that. When things go wrong, one, there may be delay in your wound healing. What was supposed to be, you know, even though you call it miraculous improvement, may not be miraculous. It may take a little longer time. Sometimes your eye muscles post-surgery are a little bit weaker. So it's like, you know, physiotherapy of your body. When you, have, when you have an injury, you do a surgery. After that, your doctor says, do a physiotherapy to improve the strength. The same thing you need to improve with your eyes. It's not for everybody, but it happens to some percentage of them. Some people have long-standing issue with dryness. Even today, we have options to treat that. Some patients have tendency to have still glare and halos lasting for six months and above. Still, there are options to treat that. We can we can correct that off. I said glare and halos is because, because of the cornea being irregular. Even that can be done. Some people have issues with uh, the reading glasses after 40. That I told you, you have to do it. We can't fight aging. There are options there to correct it, but I can't, we can't promise you that, that it will be corrected. Very, very rarely, people may have infection, which be which may be controlled and that can be treated also. And uh, one of the, today, one of the known uh, complications which people are, uh, should be aware is one in maybe 50,000 or even higher, people develop a condition called keratoconus, which is, can happen even if you don't get a LASIK surgery done. It is nothing but the bulging of your cornea. When you have a cornea being bulged, this can happen after LASIK also, it can happen without LASIK also. And these things need different kind of a treatment, which needs different kind of a process where, you know, stop it from getting bulged. So most of the complications are very, very treatable, uh, usually transient. I you repeat transient for a few months and most of them disappear over time. Have a lot of patience on this because like I said, you and me, both the surgeon and the patients have to have a lot of patience, especially because in these circumstances when we want everything to be very quick. So that's a challenge which we need to be aware of. Finally, after all this, if you decide that, well, I don't want to go for the surgery now, I waited for 10 years or 12 years, how do you move forward? One. Like you say, come to one of our uh, centers. This is what we do. One is a detailed examination, which runs from close to two hours. Every layer of our eye, from the tear film to the one which goes to optic nerve, which goes to the brain, is being evaluated. That is what I take pride in. And that is our main source of strength, is that we are able to image everything. So why is imaging important? Because what is humanly possible to avoid a complication, we avoid it. What is humanly not possible that nobody can do anything. So I tell this to all my patients that I will avoid what is humanly possible. That is it. That is from where it takes more than two to one half hours from every layer. And after that, you meet me or one of us and then we take into account all your parameters your age your profession your status of your life qual what quality of life you are looking for your your hobbies you say somebody is a photographer somebody is a deep sea diver somebody is a cricketer everything has to change based on your your lifestyle and then we make a, that's what i said the word personalized medicine personalized ophthalmology, personalized surgery is a new thing. And the third one is we then 
send it to my counselors and these counselors will explain everything again whatever i have explained to you now and then the most important thing i do is to keep life as transparent as possible everybody is aware of what they're going through we give them a consent form on the day we meet consent form is nothing but all that i have discussed with you now for you to read again and be aware that you're taking an informed decision once you take an informed decision then you fix up a date for surgery which will be held by our counselors and insurance people then come on the day of surgery you'll be again we again take precautions to look into everything again feed into the machine and based on what type of machine we have chosen for you we treat you and then we do the procedure and once you do the procedure you come back spend you'd spend around 2 hours in the hospital come back down to the to the counselors again drops will be explained next day morning you sleep for the day next day morning you come everything will be explained to you about how to use the drops and then maybe we see us after a month and then if you have an issue we see you otherwise we don't want to waste your time and our counselors are always on phone line and during these times of covid uh, we encourage people to and to talk to our counselors and not to come to hospital too often if it's not necessary so i hope i have made all these points clear to you and uh, we are always there like i said the use of technology which is i think today we are in the peak of what the technology can offer comes with a very healthy relationship it's a symbiotic relationship with the great skill surgeons which we offer in our team and use of very advanced machine learning and modeling components all the three things which combines and gives you that perfect i don't say just quality of vision i said quality of life because if the quality of vision is good the quality of life is great wish you all the best and uh, our website and our counselors are always ready to help you thank you